Welcome to Energy. I'm your host, Ty Joyce. On today's show, we'll talk about all the opportunities available for seniors at the Renaud Spirit Center. We'll also get the details on this year's Cabin Fever Days. This and more, coming up on Energy. Welcome back. First up on today's show is a look at the newest addition in Fort Zumont Park. The City of Oak Island's Parks and Recreation Department has made many improvements through the years to its parks. The latest project was just completed in Fort Zumont Park. I know uh, we have talked about it in the uh, past that we wanted to make the lake more accessible for the, the handicapped and the disabled. So we uh, put in a uh, handicap accessible pad for, uh, for Fort Zumwalt to make the le lake more accessible. Fort Zumwalt Park wasn't the only park that got a new addition in 2015. Construction also took place in Dames Park. That one was put in for a walking trail to make the Indian Mound uh, a learning experience. With the walking trail, they're also going to put in signs and uh, park benches around it for the public. For more information on the City of O'Fallon's parks, visit www.ofallon.mo.us. The RSC has so many opportunities for seniors to get out and have fun, from working out to relaxing with new friends. The Renaud Spirit Center has a lot of programs for seniors. Things like Bridge Club is a great time for seniors to come in, have a good social hour where they can drink a cup of coffee, play a game. Uh, we are also offered a new program called Mahjong. It's going to get running fully in January on the second and fourth Thursdays at one o'clock. We also offer pickleball uh, three days a week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings. It's a mix between tennis and uh, table tennis, a mix between those. It's played with a wooden paddle and a, and a wiffle ball. We have quite a few people that come in here and have a good time in there. We also offer aqua aerobics classes um, that are discounted to our Silver Sneakers members and a variety of classes, going from our therapeutic aqua aerobics classes where people can rehab or come back from injuries or just get back into the swing of things. We have a lot of physical fitness classes for our seniors, such as the Senior Tai Chi with Movements class, um, Senior Weights and Toning, and a variety of fitness classes. We also have a walking program that's going to start again in January. Um, it's a performance base, so um, each increment or mileage that you hit or steps that uh, you make, you get a prize. Um, each participant gets a folder with different workouts and a packet to start and a pedometer as well to check all your movements. The RSC is a great place for seniors to come in, whether you want to take a walk upstairs on our track or take a class. We always have coffee every morning and it's a great atmosphere for seniors to come in, um, enjoy time with their friends or new friends you might meet, and get some exercise in as well. I would absolutely encourage everyone to come here. Uh, it's a very, very nice, nice place to exercise, to relax, to meet people, uh, to have a good time. Meeting new people. I've uh, found other bridge groups from this group, um, the camaraderie, it's fun. You don't have to be a member at the RSC. We do offer a one-time charge um, or a free trial week if you've never taken advantage of that before. For more information, contact the RSC front desk at 636-474-2732 or visit our website at renaudspiritcenter.com. Now we turn to this month's Employee Spotlight featuring Cindy Springer. Here's more on Cindy and her position with the city. Cindy Springer started her career with the City of Wolf Island in 1984, working in recreation. From there she became Assistant Director, then briefly left the Parks and Recreation Department to work in safety and risk management. In 2005 she made her way back to Parks and Recreation where she now oversees the department. I am the Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of O'Fallon, so I manage the day-to-day -day and long-term aspects of all of our city parks, all of the recreation programming, the Renaud Spirit Center, the Landscape Division, and festivals and tourism. 
Parks and Recreation is a very rewarding uh, career field because you get to see people enjoying what, what you've brought to them. So not only in the parks that you provide, you see them out there having a good time, but in the programs that you offer or the festivals and events, you see the people coming out and truly enjoying something that you had a hand at putting together. The City Wolf Allen offers so many great events for its residents. From the Heritage and Freedom Festival that has become one of the biggest 4th of July celebrations in the area to other great events such as the Fall Festival, O'Fallon Jammin', Food Truck Frenzy, and the list goes on. While Cindy is proud to be a part of the many amazing events in O'Fallon, there is one in particular that stands out. Probably one of the best things I ever did was Celebration of Lights. That, that was challenging to say the least. The Parks and Recreation Board at that time, the chairperson, was really adamant we should try it. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about that, but it has proven to be a very successful event for the city. Working for the City of Fallon's Parks and Recreation Department, Cindy has experienced a lot of changes. Changes that have improved O'Fallon's parks. O'Fallon has probably one of the best park and recreation districts in the area. Um, I think, you know, size-wise, O'Fallon's second only to the city of St. Louis. We, we may not have the acreage of parks that a lot of municipalities have, but I think what we offer within the parks that we have and the quality of the fields and the amenities that we have within our parks, I would put up against any in the area. I think great staff provides a great product. The growth in the city's parks is not complete. There is still one project that is in the works that Cindy is pretty excited about. I think what will be my, my best and my favorite will be O'Day Park when we get it up and running, but until that time, probably um, the Lake and Fort Zumwalt Park and just some of the passive um, amenities that we've added there. While many changes have taken place in O'Fallon, one thing still remains. Even though O'Fallon's grown, it still has an area or even elements of every event that are very kind of hometown and that's a good thing. I can truly say that I've enjoyed working for the city. There's been ups and downs along the way but um, the city's always been good to me and I really think they do appreciate what Parks and Recreation provides and I think now that we're starting to catch up on some of the other infrastructure that you'll see a little more attention being given to the needed parks and recreation opportunities for our residents. Cure those winter blues by getting out and enjoying some winter activities with the family. Joining us now is Jennifer Hoisington with a look at this year's Cabin Fever Days. O'Fallon's Cabin Fever Days is a great time for everyone with plenty of activities for the whole family to enjoy. We are going to have a $5 fee where you can stay and play all day. And with that $5 fee, you get to play in the human hamster ball, human foosball. You also get to play 18 holes of miniature golf and laser tag. Other attractions returning this year are Spirit of St. Louis RC Flying Club and the Gateway Dog Sled Club. They do demonstrations on how they actually do the dog sled races throughout the day and um, the handlers are there also to answer any sort of questions. Good boy. The fun doesn't end there. There is still plenty to see and do at this year's Cabin Fever Days. We will have entertainment there as well as a heat relief tent. There will be uh, festival style food there as well. We also have some free events that will take place that day that once again is hands-on and people would be moving uh, during the winter weather. So those items would be like tug of war, volleyball. We have broom ball once again, which is always very popular. And of course, um, the snowflake toss. Cabin Fever Days is quickly becoming a fan favorite. The event last year really started gaining in its popularity. We had a lot of people out there um, participating. It's hands-on activities, it keeps people moving, and when you're moving, you're staying warm and getting out of the winter blues. 
Cabin Fever Days will take place on Saturday and Sunday, January 30th and 31st from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Admission and parking are free. For more details, visit www.ofallon.mo.us. Another great year is planned for the O'Fallon Cultural Arts Department. Here's Darren with a look at what's coming up. O'Fallon's Parks and Recreation Department oversees some of the premier parks destinations within the greater St. Louis area. Besides tending to acres of beautiful parkland and developing dozens of family-friendly programs, the Parks and Rec Department has also put a special emphasis on fostering our community's visual and performing arts. Thousands of musicians, actors, dancers, and artists have come together through the years to be a part of our cultural arts programming, and we have a lot of exciting programs coming up to kick off this new year. Well, the big thing we've got coming up in March is going to be our play, which is Noises Off. Uh, we did it once before in 2003, and uh, we decided to take another stab at it, so technically we've been working on it right now. We just had auditions, had over 30 people audition for nine parts. All new cast, all new people, and we've got some old standbys that are coming in too. Uh, we're going to be running rehearsals and building the two-story set, and the play is going to run uh, the first two weekends in March and so you can check out the Parks and Rec website on that for all the details. We also have great opportunities coming up for young thespians and performers to explore the world of cultural arts. Also starting in January, we've got our performing arts classes, uh, acting, dance, singing, um, those all run for 13 weeks and it will cap off with a big recital uh, right around April and then once that's done then of course then we move into the summer play for the kids as well and then we also have um, the um, community bands which are going to be starting up um, and they start rehearsals in March as well. The Cultural Arts Gallery puts fresh local art on the walls of the Renaud Spirit Center year-round and we have two can't miss exhibitions coming up. Exhibit wise we've got the O'Fallon Photo Club and then uh, the Oak Leaf Artist Guild. O'Fallon Photo Club will run until March and then the Oak Leaf Artist Guild will run until April. So we got a lot going on the first, first part of the year. We're starting to kick back up. Our Parks and Rec Department offers cultural arts programs and opportunities throughout the year and there's always something fun for families to take part in. To get more info, you can head to the Parks and Recreation website. You'll find plenty of information about upcoming programs and exhibits, and you can sign up for programs online too. Are you ready to jumpstart your workout routine? The Renaud Spirit Center is a great place to start. O'Fallon's Renaud Spirit Center offers a 6,200 square foot fitness facility that includes an indoor track, 43 cardiovascular machines, including treadmills, elliptical machines, stair climbers, bikes, and more. Personal trainers are also on hand to help kickstart your workout routine. When it comes to aerobics, the RSC offers a wide range of classes that include step aerobics, Zumba, body sculpting, specialty classes such as boot camp, yoga, cycling, and more. For a more detailed list of fitness opportunities being offered at the Renaud Spirit Center, visit www.renaudspiritcenter.com. It's time to check in with this week's calendar of events. Join us in celebrating Dr. Seuss Day a little bit early. We'll make a smile with the cat in the hat, dance around with the fox and socks, hear a who with Horton, count redfish and bluefish, help the Grinch see the error of his ways, and listen to Sam I Am's friend complain about green eggs and ham. Registration includes story time, activities, crafts, and a Dr. Seuss style snack. It all takes place on Wednesday, March 2nd from 9.30 to 11 a.m. at the Renaud Spirit Center. Cost is $10 for residents and $12 for non-residents. Get the results you want, designed for all fitness levels. This class will help you improve cardio endurance, muscle tone, posture, balance, and strength. Each workout will incorporate elements of cardio, circuit style, and interval style training, and body weight toning exercises. Come prepared to look better, feel better, and have fun. The next session of classes will start on January 18th, Monday and Wednesdays from 8 to 8.50 a.m., and on Fridays, January 22nd from 8.15 to 9.10 a.m. Cost is $54 for residents and $61 for non-residents. Start your New Year's off with a healthier you. Join Walgreens Pharmacist on the third Monday of each month for free discussion lectures on obtaining optimal health. 
Topics will range from heart health to stress management to insomnia. The next topic of discussion will be heart health on Monday, February 15th from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. at the Renaud Spirit Center. Cost is free and open to the public. Start planning your kids' spring break with the Spring Break Camp at the Renaud Spirit Center starting on March 21st through the 25th, Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. In this lively one-week camp, kids will make crafts, play games, find new friends, and have a great time. Parents or guardians must register children for Spring Break Camp in person at the Renaud Spirit Center. Call staff at 636-474-2732 for more information. That's all for today's show. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Energy.